if you want the truth, I cannot believe I've started the video looking like this. But hey, we are here. And this is a very weird vlog. As in, I mean, like, it actually starts with me at home. But this was filmed after being in London. And I only filmed, like, the farm in London but I thought I would feature that in this vlog anyway so you've randomly got like a little section of us at Dean Farm I think it's called in London so I hope you enjoy that and then afterwards it's just gonna continue with me today so <laughs> I apologize for the yeah this but I don't want to waste my footage you know what I mean that was a nice day and then afterwards it's gonna be like my normal my normal vlog so I hope you enjoy this vlog please don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it puts a smile on my face like by going up by one I know I say it every time but it's so true so thank you very much if you have already subscribed because it does put a huge smile on my face and yeah let's crack on and start with us going to london so enjoy so today we are at a local farm in london and our friends absolutely loving it walking about thank god i put him in his waterproof trousers that's all i'll say chicken So that pretty much concludes all my footage from London, which is literally about three minutes, but you know, there you go. I have decided to start my health journey again. I know I keep saying it, but like I'm, I'm literally, yeah. I have decided to actually put my Apple Watch on. So I've added my fitness tracker on there too. I'm also counting how many steps I'm doing. I am, yeah, on that. I am starting to do a bit of calorie counting as well. Now I know it's a bit like, does work, doesn't work. You know, you should be doing this, should be doing that. But calorie counting, it seems to be working for me so far. Like I'm sticking to it. So that is why I am doing it. I have tried near enough everything. So that is why we're going with that. So let's put a face mask on. Please feel free to pause this and put a face mask on for yourself as well. Because this is your sign to do a little bit of self-care, okay? Wash your face, put that face mask on, have a bath if you can, have a shower if you haven't got a bath, you know? Now is your time, okay? This is your sign. So, let's do my face mask. I always like to wash my face quickly before I put the face mask on. So, because of my skin problems at the moment, I've had to go through so many different products to be like, what works for me and what doesn't. For just the face wash, I'm just gonna use my Boots Cucumber Everyday Wash. This is vegan and cruelty free, of course. If it's featured on here, it will be. I like to think so anyway. Nothing fancy, that's what we're gonna go with. So I've got to use this one up, so I think I'm going to go with my Lush one today. As you may have seen in my last video, I used this one last time too. And it is basically like a blueberry one. Yes, I'm using the same one as last time. And I always use my fingers as I find it to be the easiest way to apply a face mask because it warms the product up in your fingers and it's just easier to apply. Oh my gosh. And that 
is this on. I'm probably gonna leave it for about 10 minutes on and then I'm gonna wash it off in the shower, which is what I would normally do. Um, and I will probably use this after I've put it on. It is the Naturally Radiant selection from Superdrug. And then probably do my skincare after that, meaning like my moisturizers and serum. I'm not really wearing a lot at the moment because just because my skin's been looking on top and whatever I'm doing clearly is, yeah, it's working for my skin at the moment. And please don't feel like you have to wash your face as much as I do. I only wash it a lot because that is what is working for my eyelids at the moment. Because you know, if you watch my previous videos, you'll see my eyelids used to be really swollen, red, you name it. And yeah, just this has been working for them at the moment. But yes, I'm going to have a lovely shower. Good morning, everyone. So today is currently Saturday and we have just come back from visiting my granny's grave and on the way back Arthur just fell asleep so I don't know if you can see him just there. So I thought I would sit in the car for a little bit before we head to this jumble sale where you get a bag of stuff for 50p which is amazing so i'm gonna have a look what they find i'm just gonna be looking at baby clothes baby toys maybe a few like baggy tees for me and just yeah or anything nice would be nice but you know um so that is what we're gonna do and then after that we're gonna pop to my my nana's house that's arthur's great nana just to give her a visit so i thought i would just take you along with me We are back and, excuse me, I need coffee. I thought I would quickly show you what I bought. Now I bought all of this for 50p and let me show you. It is all in one bag and it was a bag for 50p. So I do warn you now, it is full of very random things that might, yeah, we'll, we'll, you'll, you'll just see what I mean, okay? So the first thing I bought was this for Arthur one of these it needs new batteries but it is the VTech playtime bus we're still on the the toys bit at the moment so Peppa Pig this is George actually from Peppa Pig if you'll focus there you go and it's him riding his dinosaur and then anything Thomas I find I always buy it on the wheel it's got numbers yeah, it's quite interesting toy. I think it's meant to be part of something, but Arthur just loves wheeling cars and stuff, so. And this was just a bit of luck. I, like, picked up the first item of baby clothes, and the first time I, item I picked up was this, and it has his name on it, so that was meant to be. Really two last items that are very random. Again, anything related to Thomas the Tank Engine, I get it. This is Harold. There you go plastic cap because Arthur is obsessed with going so so that is everything that I got I hope that it interests you in some way <laughs> if you're a mother it might it was definitely a good trip I think I wonder where Arthur is Arthur Arthur where's my baby <laughs> He's got breakfast all down him. Should we get you dressed? <laughs> Say good morning with your filthy face. Should we get you dressed for the day? <laughs> Should we get you dressed for the day? Or are you too busy in your house? <laughs> knock, knock. Honestly, such a nice day today. The sky is sunny, but yet cloudy. Very weird, but just on our walk because I'm trying to do at least one walk a day at the moment just in a good mood I really think it's helping me out with my fitness and my mental health too so if you yeah are in a wrap walk a day give it a go hi hey, darling <laughs> yeah today is actually quite a busy day for me so 
so we have actually finished our walk and now we're off to do a bit of food shopping thought i'd bring you along with me to show you all of my favorite bits and then we're off to emily's for the afternoon which should be fun So we are back home from shopping and I just thought I would show you all the new bits that I bought that aren't necessarily what I would normally buy, but I'm trying them out. They look good, so let me show you. Okay, I love my cream cheese and I normally have the, was it Vital Life or something like that one, the vegan one, but I've gone for this one for a change and I thought I would give it a go. I will let you know. Then some plant-based protein bagels. I have tried these before, they were really nice, but I need to eat them more, they're so good. These I found were on sale because they go out of date this year, but not until late this year. So I thought I would give the mini ones a go. I normally buy like the big bottle, but we've got some minis of the ready to go milkies for Arthur. If you didn't know, these are the vegan ones and yeah, he loves them. And then I miss pancake day, so I thought I would pick up some vegan pancake mix. I can make pancakes, but I normally make like the American style ones, and I do not think there is a pancake day, um, yeah, suitable. So we got some of this. And then this isn't a new purchase, this is actually like something I buy regularly because if you have not tried the butter kiss sweet and salty microwave or popcorn what are you doing this is delicious now i did actually try to look for just popcorn kernels you know not like packaged floretti flavored some just plain kernels but i could not find any for the life of me in morrison's so i just picked up this one it is actually my favorite so maybe next time we'll go for the kernels but this is delicious arthur is just having his lunch and yeah then we're gonna head to Auntie Emily's for the afternoon, so I will catch up with you there. So we're at Emily's farm. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so Emily currently has some sheep in her field. Did you can see that there. Yeah. And I thought, well, Emily thought it'd be a nice idea to go and visit them. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go. <gasps> yeah. Sheep. The sheep. Oh, that is adorable. So this is where we are going to leave this vlog for this week. I just want to say a huge thank you for watching. It really means a lot. Honestly, it really does. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already because it makes my day when the num goes up even by one. I really appreciate it. Arthur and I are just going to watch a little bit of Wiggles before Arthur... <laughs> He's like, are we? Before I give Arthur a little bath. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy your evening and I'll see you all very soon in the next vlog. See you soon.